All right, so we made it. We're back to the last track on a Doors album. You know, the closer. We're ready to get punched in the face. That's what happens every time. It's it's always something masterful. Ugh, I love the Doors so much. Punch me in the face. Here we go. Good we're, old Jim. We're just gonna get a poster that covers the whole wall of Jim. Yeah. <laughs> this point i'm just gonna expand the doors out <laughs> as much as i listen to the doors <laughs> yeah you know the fifth man of the doors paul a rothschild he was helping morrison organize pieces of his poetry books for this track he said i'd ask jim to get out his notebooks of poetry and we'd go through them and find a piece that fit rhythmically and conceptually a lot of the fragments there were just bits of poetry put together a soft parade, eight minutes and 30 seconds. Let's, let's fucking go. Let's dive. When I was back there in <laughs> seminary school. We're back. There was a person there who put forth the <sighs> proposition ah. that you can petition the Lord with prayer. Ooh. Petition the preacher, Lord preacher Jim. with prayer. Petition the Lord with prayer. <laughs> you cannot petition the Lord with prayer. <laughs> Goosebumps. Dude. Ooh. Can you Oh, it's one of those. I must find a place to hide. Oh my a God. place for me to hide. <sighs> oh. Come on, Ray. Yeah. Brown reference, yeah. 
Woo. Come on, Robbie. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Successful heels are here to stay. Everything must be this way. The this. rhythm. I love it. Gentle street where people play. God. Uh. Welcome to the soft parade. Yes. All our lives we sweat and say. Oh. Whew. Speak to us. Oh. Talk to us. Talk to us, Jim. Talk to us. Everything must be this way. Let's go. Must be this way. This is why I react. You know? This is why I react. <laughs> because I couldn't just listen to that. You know, I would react the same way if I heard this off video. Like, I'd be like, holy fuck, dude. <laughs> like, what did I just discover? Right. Bro. Ah. 
Damn, that just made the album for me. That just solidified this album. Like, sheesh. Sheesh. I already loved this album, but that was like... That's the best song in the album. It sealed it. I mean, I knew it. I mean, we all knew it. It was eight minutes. It's always the last song. Yeah, it's always the last. (laughs) I knew it was going to be one of those. Sheesh. Dude. That was like four different songs mixed into one. Yep. You know? Yep. I mean, they're doing that like... They're doing that now in like the 2010s. That was a big thing in the 2010s, but they were doing it back in 1969. Yep. Oh my god. Ah. It was just. The poetry was on 10. Yeah. And yet again, I feel like it goes along with the things that I was saying. Yep. It's. It's so doors. Yep. It's like I was predicting these things because I knew by this song it was all going to come together. Because that's what happened on Strange Days. <clears throat> what they do is they, they make you listen to the whole album then you listen to that last song and that makes you rethink the entire album. Yeah. It's so genius. God, I cannot wait to play this. Oh, man. Found one of my new favorite Doors songs. Good God. What a ride. (laughs) And you got, like, Jim, like, ad-libbing the whole thing, almost. Like, laughing, like, ha-ha! This is my my favorite part of the trip right here. Is it? Yeah. (laughs) That was awesome. He's like, I like it. (laughs) Or something like that. I think Jim has done that more in this album than ever. Like him like laughing or like being like, woo! Like, it's, <laughs> it's awesome. Just hyping us up. Um, but my God. This was can you uh, say, all of a sudden. Can you say legendary-ness? No, for real. Like Can you say legendary-ness? I yeah, mean, get that on a t-shirt right now. Legendary-ness. Door is on We it. just got real funky, bro. Yeah, it did. I think that was the funkiest I heard the doors yet. Yeah. That was funky as hell, bro. <laughs> that was funkalicious. Ray, I was like, dude, is, is Jim rapping right now? Yeah. <laughs> he was, even gave a little James Brown shout out. Yeah. <laughs> Jim was borderline rapping, dude. I don't know. That could be possibly my favorite door song ever. <laughs> that was an experience yeah man that was crazy that was insane that was like what i want from the doors times 10 because it was like different songs in one yeah so it was like <laughs> every version of the doors that i want i can't believe like the tempo switches like i've never heard them like that that's insane i might have to the react song. to these soft parade lives as soon as i get off work <laughs> no for real <laughs> I need to see that live. No, I'm just going to sure. be thinking about that. All right, let's get into these lyrics. Um, when I was back there in seminary school, there was a person there who put forth the proposition. This is when he's speaking like a preacher. Who put forth the proposition that you can petition the Lord with prayer. Petition the Lord with prayer. You cannot petition the Lord with prayer. In other words, you can't tell God what to do or change God's opinion. Which I think is a metaphor for you can't tell the people in power what to do or change their opinion. Can you give me sanctuary? I must find a place to hide. A place for me to hide. Can you find me soft asylum? I can't make it anymore. The man is at the door. Peppermint, miniskirts, chocolate candy, champion sex, and a girl named Sandy. There's only four ways to get unraveled. One is to sleep and the other is to travel. One is a bandit up in the hills. Again, this that's like a reference. I think that's almost like him referencing old tracks. 
how many times he talks about up on the hills. I mean, that makes me think of, that makes me think of not to touch the sun when he talks about up on the hills, there's a mansion. One is to love your neighbor till his wife gets home. Catacombs, nursery bones, winter woman, growing stones, carrying babies to the river. Streets and shoes, avenues, letter writers, selling news, the monk bought lunch. Hollywood is controlled by the governing rich and stuff, so clearly he's got something to say about that. Like, what's underneath this? Haha, ha, he bought a little. Yes, he did. This is the best part of the trip. I'm proud to be a part of this number. Successful hills are here to stay. Everything must be this way. Gentle streets where people play. Welcome to the soft parade. So I think that's him saying, like, in this capitalistic society, in this capitalistic economy, this is the way it has to be. You know, we're going to have these rich rulers. Uh, successful hills are here to stay. I think that's what he means there. I also believe that the successful hills is a reference to the Hollywood hills, and he's calling the people in Hollywood a sort of soft parade because they support a flower power movement, and he believes that this is a distraction from the real revolution that needs to occur. All of our lives we sweat and save, building for a shallow grave. I love that. Mm -hmm. I, I heard that immediately. Yeah, me too. Must be something else we say, somehow to defend this place. Everything must be this way. Like, ah, oh, God. That does not resonate with your soul, dude. There's clearly something wrong, but yet... Like, what do we do? Yeah. We're out here slaving right. away at a job and sweating and saving up money, but yet doesn't really get us anywhere. Like, we work hard, then we die. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why? Why is it that way? Because there's people that don't have to work hard. No, we're just the ones working so they don't have to work. A soft parade has now begun. Listen to the engines hum people out to have some fun and again dude i feel like this just kind of runs off of the theme of strange days you know like in strange days it seemed like he was talking about how in hollywood um we have all these things that entertain us like music you know which music is in a parade and all that does is kind of distract us from the real problem if we turn the music down and we listen and really look at the problems, we can realize that somebody's screwing us over. And destroying the earth. And this economy clearly is damaged from something. We don't hear that, we don't realize that because we have all these things stimulating us. I mean, it's even worse today. It's, it's obvious today. <clears throat> I mean, almost everybody can agree. It's almost obvious today, but like, it seems like we all feel stuck. So it's, you know, it's listen to the engines hum because it's like, listen to everybody working hard. You know, everybody's moving. Everybody's going out to have some fun. Everybody's distracted. That's basically what he's saying. With the cobra on my left, with the snakes, the snakes right there. And the leopard on my right. Predators are right there. The dear woman in a silk dress, go, girls with beads around their necks, kiss the hunter of the green vest, who has wrestled before with lions in the night. And I think this right here is like him standing up for women. Because a dear woman kisses the hunter of the green vest. So, you know, hunters hunt deer, obviously. Mm -hmm. And what does she have to do? She has to, she has to succumb to her own hunter. I mean, especially in Hollywood, you know? I feel like women were definitely abused in Hollywood. <laughs> Out of sight, the lights are getting brighter, the radio is moaning, calling to the dogs. There are still a few animals, but it's getting harder to describe sailors to the underfed. Underfed? <laughs> I'm, I, I was, I was uh, checking you. That was a test, ha <laughs> ha. Underfed. And keep it, yeah, keep that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Underfed. Hey. I thought that was like some deep word. I was like, damn. <laughs> okay. The lights are getting brighter. The radio is moaning. You know. 
radio is becoming even bigger. Entertainment is becoming even bigger. Distractions are becoming even larger. Crawling to the dogs, there's still a few animals left out in the yard. There's still a few people that are fighting for what's right, but not that many. And it's also getting harder to describe sailors to the underfed, so it's like... It's hard to describe smart things, smart concepts to people that are taught dumb things. It's harder to tell people how we're going to steer this ship when they don't even believe that they're being fooled. So I think when he says underfed, he means underfed information, but also underfed food in general as well, because people are working harder to make money to buy food. So I think Jim's trying to say in this state that the economy is in, it's hard to tell people to stop working and revolt and rise up when they're being underfed as it is. They need the money. They need the job. And I think that resonates today more so than ever. <laughs> tropic corridor, tropic treasure. What got us this far to this mild equator? So again, I think he's talking about sailing. Um, common theme. You know, I'm thinking about uh, that song off of Strange Days. He, he's talked about sailing multiple times. He talked about sailing in horse latitudes, and he, he talked about sailing in um, Spanish caravan. So here we go again. Tropic corridor, tropic treasure. What has got us this far to this mild equator? What got us here? How did we get to this place, to this economy? We need someone or something new, something else to get us through. Calling on the dogs, calling in the dogs, calling all the dogs, calling on the gods. So basically just saying like, Everybody help us, you know, somebody help us. Brings me back to um, when the music's over, when he says, save us, Jesus. You got to meet me too late, baby. Slay a few animals at the crossroads. Too late, all in the yard, but it's getting harder by the crossroads. You got to meet me. Oh, we're going, we're going great at the edge of town. Tropic corridor, tropic treasure. Having a good time. Got to come along. What got us this far? To this mild equator outskirts of the city you and i we need someone new something new something else to get us through better bring your gun tropic corridor tropic treasure we're gonna ride and have some fun when all else fails we can whip the horse's eyes and make them sleep and cry so i think throughout the track we have different characters again like i think there's different perspectives going on like i think we have the perspective of the governing rich like at this part, successful hills are here to stay. Everything must be this way. And when he says, must be something else we say somehow to defend this place. You know, that's the rich defending their riches. And then, um, like, this is their plan, you know. You know, make the engines hum. Make people have some fun. Maybe a cobra on my left, leopard on my right is just like, I'm in those circle of predators. Like, I'm a predator just like them. And then I think when the song changes, the character switches. And by the end here... I think Jim is trying to call for revolution, like saying, you got to meet me. We got to slay a few animals, you know, get your gun. We got to create this revolution. And then when all else fails, we can whip the horse's eyes, make them sleep and cry. It's like the horse is the person that's carrying us, right? The horse is the person that controls us and which way we're going. I think the horse in this line is supposed to represent the governing rich. And we can, we can whip their eyes as in, basically, we can force a change. I don't know. That's that's literally all I got right now. All I know is I feel like it'd be crazy to understand this song first run. It's so poetic. It's definitely one you got to listen to a few times and let it sink in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go check out this entire album, and we'll be back and list our favorites. Um, I'm pretty sure this one might be at my top, might be number one. If it's not, it's going to be number two. <laughs> yeah. Song was amazing. Definitely so hype and happy that I heard this track. Getting replayed like crazy. I already know. We love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and critiquing with us, coming through and, and checking out this Doors album. Looking forward to checking out more Doors. Um, we only have two more albums left, unfortunately, with Jim. Um, so... I don't know, I might hold on to those, and it might be a little bit before we come back for the next one. I kind of want to get through a bunch of 60s rock artists first, 
so uh, just stay in the look definitely want to do more as an hotel though once we we get sick of all the stuff we got you know and, and we're really begging you know um but yeah love you guys so much thank you guys you guys stay healthy stay safe and stay classy charles aka tyler aka critic out Sha. out